And more now on that ceasefire between Russia and Ukraine that helped to ease investor concerns since any more trouble in that region could weigh on Europe's economy. But not all of those issues between the nations were ironed out. Julia Chatterley reports from Brussels. Cautious optimism from EU leaders, I think, here leaving this meeting about the peace deal signed between the pro-Russian separatists, Russia and Ukraine. I think the fact, though, that the talks took 17 hours into the early hours of this morning underscores two important points. One, ultimately, that they were pretty tough negotiations, and two, the desperation of the leaders behind them just to get something signed today. But the billion-dollar question now becomes, will all sides abide by the ceasefire agreement that begins at midnight on Sunday? There's plenty of skepticism here behind the scenes, given what we've seen in the past, and for that, the spotlight now falls firmly on Russia. There were no talks here today about further sanctions, but I think the message is that pressure will remain and that actions speak louder than words. We've left a lot of these meetings bemoaning the fact that EU leaders can't agree on further sanctions on Russia. Perhaps that overshadowed and offset today by the announcement of a collective $40 billion bailout for Ukraine. But behind the scenes, no illusions of the difficulty of reforming a country that is, for all intents and purposes, at war. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Chatterley in Brussels.